All of the hurricane claims of the past several years have caused seven insurance companies to go under, uh, which means homeowners have lost insurance or some have simply moved out of the region. And Liz Traha from Lake Charles, uh, this is what happened to you. Your company has left Louisiana because of all the claims. Tell me about your situation and when did you learn of this? Right, we received a non-renewal notice um, May 20th, I believe. Of this and year? Yes, yes. Our renewal will be in August. And so that's whenever we will no longer have insurance with our insurance company. Gio Vera is that company. They insured the home of Liz Trahan and her husband for two and a half years. What was your reaction when you opened this? Were you expecting it? I was not surprised. I thought that they would at least wait till we were through with our process with them. We are still undergoing claims, uh, supplemental claims with our contractor, things that were not covered, were partially covered. Life has been in limbo ever since Laura blew in August 27th, 2020, and the subsequent hurricanes only made it worse. For us, it was mainly um, water damage that came in through losing the roof, uh, the shingles. It was down to the bare wood on, um, I guess it would be the east side of our roof. The Trahans lived in a camper parked in their driveway. They were out of their home for a year and a half. I was claustrophobic. I'd had enough of the camper. It was time to go home. And as yeah. soon as we had floors, I said, I'm going home. I don't care. They, the workers can just work around me. We are the target, if you will, the bullseye of Hurricane Alley. State Insurance Commissioner Jim Donnellan has surely had his work cut out for him. That's included getting deadlines of failed companies extended to give people more time and making sure state law protections remained solid. The wolf is away from the door for those tens of thousands of policyholders from these failed companies who are looking for coverage. They always now have, at, with ready access, the right to get a policy from citizens. You don't want to have to do that. That's the market of last resort. In every state, there's a wind pool or a citizen's property like in Florida, like in Louisiana, that prices itself above the private sector so as to not become a market of choice, but rather stay as a market of last resort. The good news, he says, is that stronger companies have come in and picked up policies of many homeowners left hanging. Even Donilon himself has not been exempt from the carnage. I now am in the same boat. I'm looking for a policy to replace my, my uh, failed Southern, uh, Southern Fidelity policy uh, that failed because of not only their losses in Louisiana, but even more so their losses in the dysfunctional Florida uh, property insurance market. As to the future. We are unique. We have a law going back to 1992. Uh, then Senator Jim Cox of Lake Charles passed it. And the companies hate it, but it's the only one in America. And it is a great protection for homeowners, uh, insurance consumers in our state. I call it the three year rule. If you've been with your homeowners insurer for three or more years, you and they are married for as long as they do business, homeowners business in the state of Louisiana. It kept 80% of our market in place after Katrina and Rita, and will do so again after the last two hurricane seasons. This has truly been sort of a woe is me, Louisiana is on its way out headline, but it does not sound in any realm that that's really the case. So people have much more hope than that, um, certainly. And insurers have much to gain by insuring these people. Positively, and they see that. This company from Miami, Safe Point, I looked at their year-end statement when they came in and took over those 55,000 policies. They had $40 million in assets in their, in their company at year-end. Companies that know what they're doing and can do it you know, and do it prudently can operate efficiently and profitably in coastal Louisiana, no question about it. Yet the anxiety, the discomfort, and the cost will cause many to simply exit the state 
or threaten to.